One of the quotes by a legendary copywriter Gary Halbert said that when it comes to writing a great copy, it is not so much a matter of knowing how to write as it is knowing what to write. When I heard about this quote, I totally agree with it because if you want to write a great copy that sells, you need to first understand your target audience. For example, what are their challenges, their pain points, their desires, their goals, their hopes and dreams. So if you want to know how to write a great copy that resonates with your target audience, in this video, I'm going to share with you the seven copy principles that you need to know so that you can start to learn it. Let's deep dive in right now. Copy principle number one is to start focusing on your prospects instead of your company. A lot of businesses make these mistakes when writing a copy. For example, they state that we pride ourselves to be the best agency in the world. We have uh, 35 years of history and also we believe that we can help you to provide a holistic, all-rounded solution. As you can see, it's all about we not your prospects. So if you want to write something that resonates with your prospects, always change it to you, you are or you will. Copy principle number two is to give a reason why. Let's say for example, if your prospects have tried all the solutions and they all doesn't work, and you know that they are actually missing out this one thing that you have and you are offering your solution to them, you need to state the reason why it works, why your solution is able to help them solve their entire problems, able to help them save their time, save money, or even save effort. So by stating a reason why your solution works, it makes your product or solution more believable to them. Copy principle number three is to be clear in your message. When it comes to writing a great copy that resonates with your target audience, you need to make sure that your copy is easy and simple to understand even by a complete layman. Like for example, it doesn't matter if it's stated in a headline, subheadline, body copy or call to action. By conveying a clear message to your target audience, it helps to move them one step closer to their buying decision. And that is how you can write a great copy that resonates with your target audience. Copy principle number four is to identify your dominant emotions. Like for example, before you start to write a copy, you need to think through what kind of emotions you want to portray to your target audience. Is it to excite them, to create empathy, to let them feel that you are hearing their frustration, anger, anxiety or fear. So by having a dominant emotion in your copy, you can simply create a story to tell how are you going to help them to solve their problems. And copy principle number five is to leverage on curiosity. It is one of the most powerful marketing triggers to attract your audience. Like when it comes to curiosity, you're actually creating an open loop, an information gap that tease and excite them to can't wait to find out more from you. So if you want to have a great copy that sells, you need to eject curiosity in your copy. Copy principle number six is to write in the present tense. Why is it so? Let's say for example, if you write in the past tense, it portrays a perception to your target audience that your product had worked in the past but may not work right now. So i give you an example. Let's say if you are selling a weight loss product and you are writing this copy as this product was used by a lot of people to lose weight. As compared to a lot of people are using this product right now to lose weight. Which sentence is more believable? It will be a second sentence, right? That's why if you want to make it more believable and portray a perception to a target audience that this product that you're offering is working right now, always write in a present tense. 
copy principle number seven is to write in chunks and assemble your copy. One of the best copywriters in the history, Eugene Schwartz, said that copy is not written, copy is example. A lot of people often write the first sentence to the last sentence and focus on the sentence structure. However, those legendary copywriters don't do that. They focus on assembling the copy. For example, they have already find out what is the pain points, the challenges of their target audience. They come up with the headline, the sub-headline, the benefits in bullet points, the offer, the guarantee inside the offer, the premium bonus, the lead, the story. So once you come up in different separate chunks, you start to assemble into your copy so that to see whether there's a sentence structure flow in it. And that is how to write a great copy that sells. Alright, I hope this video is useful for you to give you an idea of what are the copy principles that you need to know before you start to write a great copy. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click on the subscribe button below and leave me a comment to let me know what kind of new topics that you are interested with so that I can produce more of this video just to benefit you. Well, that's all for now and I'll see you next time.